and welcome Hi. to this, another episode of Wasting All the Time, Level 3. Why is it Level 3? Because last time it was Season 2. Therefore, oh, no, that'll be the next ton. The next one we do will be there for. <laughs> okay. We're having fun already. <laughs> oh, no. Let fun me AF. continue reading from my script. <laughs> I hate myself. That right script, now. It's, it's, it's written so large. Yes. <laughs> Typically, there are four cohorts on this show, and tonight there are three. And I say tonight because it's tonight for us, but it'll be morning, afternoon, evening. Middle of the day, sunrise, sunset, <laughs> the witching hour, the twilight, the new moon, the all the twilights. <laughs> it could be any time when you're listening to this. You might be on an airplane. You might be underground. You might be um, in any myriad uh, liminal spaces. Who knows? My name's Dave. I'm the host. I'm joined by Cody. Hello. And Jess. I miss my puppy. <laughs> Why can't she cuddle me? She doesn't cuddle me. She just bites me all the time. She bites you all the time. Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we will each of us bring a segment to the show, do some improvisation, you know, based on that, whatever, what it was that was brought. And then we're going to call it done for the time period. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand things over to Cody for his segment. Welcome to Cody's Words of Wisdom. Soak up the knowledge. You know what, everybody's up with artificial intelligence these days, but you know what I don't have anything of? Artificial anything. That's right, I'm 100% purely summoned from the void. If it's not coming from the void, I don't want it touching my intestines. You can't think that you're gonna tell me, oh, this fertilizer comes straight from the sun. It doesn't. The sun's allergic to fertilizer, you moron. How do you think they get it in the first place? They have to fight. There's a boss, he's got a lot of HP, and you've got to stab him. You have to stab him with arrows. You can shoot the arrows at the boss? No, that's dumb. Oh, look at me, I'm an archer. Archers are so last century. Get in line, get in the back of the line. This is like the DMV, except worse. You're in, in the entire collection conglomeration of the DMV's corporate entity, and you, you're gonna stab yourself with an arrow because you're in the back of the line because you thought you were clever. Well, guess what? That's more fertilizer for me and less for you because I have to grow myself some intestine-touching food. And I don't want to hear any lip because I'll get fired. Next, I can help the next person. Yeah, that's like, that's me. All right, uh, let me see the paperwork, please. Thank okay, you. I just, I just want you to know that I did not like the smell of the paperwork, so I did <laughs> use a uh, noteworthy number 546 on it, so. Well. You know, sandalwood. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we need all of our paperwork to be unscented, so I cannot return this to you. This is going to be destroyed. Can you please go back, fill out the form what? again, unscented? Oh well, I'm sorry. I'm no exceptions. I'm literally, I'm literally, literally the only person here. <laughs> wow. There isn't a line. There is literally no one but me and you and the security camera that I'm pretty sure isn't working. Somebody just painted a red light on it. That's a very interesting perspective. If there's no line, then surely it won't be that much of a burden for you to go back, <laughs> fill out the paperwork again, unscented, and just come right back then. Oh my god. Next, I can help the next person. <laughs> That's literally me. Hi, can I have your paperwork, please? <laughs> I, have it. I gave it to you. Hello. Uh, that was I destroyed. I gave you your stinky paperwork and replaced it with nice, all natural paperwork. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't see any paperwork in your hands. This is the worst freaking DMV I have ever been in. Oh, my God. 
Martin, Martin, is there a problem here? You've been with this one customer for quite a while. I know. They uh, they brought scented paperwork. Sandalwood. Sandalwood? Mm. I'm noteworthy 546, okay? I, wait, no, 546 is patchouli. Oh, it's got a little bit of sandalwood in it, though. And I don't know, <laughs> like, I'm a little more sensitive to sandalwood, so I tend to smell that before I smell the patchouli. You know, because it also has water lily in it, right? Like... Well, okay. What are the forms for, Martin? Maybe we can, maybe we can see about, ugh, it pains me to say it. An exception, maybe. Mm. Uh, yeah. I didn't look at what forms they were before I destroyed them because I wasn't going to ever accept them. That is why there's a trash fire next to his desk right now. I'm very offended. The amount of carbon emissions that are being emitted by it. Ugh. Well, no, Martin... Martin consumes carbon emissions. And that's one of the reasons we hired him here. Is a uh, trash fire is, is corporate approved. Um, I breathe I that in. S- yeah, he breathes and it in. It comes out as farts. Nothing so, is worse. <laughs> so, what were the forms for? Maybe we can we can we can expedite it. Like you said, they've been destroyed. What 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 were the forms for? Maybe we, maybe we can do this digitally. Is is the future after all? I was submitting forms for my own uh, form of transportation. It's all natural, and, like, I need the all-natural vehicle registered appropriately so I can take it on the road appropriately. Okay. Uh, Martin, you should be able to just pull up the the digital document on your screen right here. I can, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, but what, Martin? But what? I know what this is. I totally know what this is. Martin doesn't like corn cob vehicles. I don't like ANVs at all. That has nothing to do with my ability to perform my professional role as a registrar. Okay. I can do that and maintain my beliefs. Well, literally, like your title is AMV manager. Like, yeah, yeah. all you I am the manager of all natural is vehicles. alternative motor vehicles. That's all yeah. you deal with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so Martin, Martin, <sighs> what class is it? An A class? Uh. I mean, technically, it's see what a I'm C-class. dealing with. I, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with you, Martin. I, but we have rules. We have rules that to follow, Martin. I'm on my last legs here. If I get one more strike, I'm done. It's back to the cornfields for me. Do you have some fertilizers in those goddamn fields? There's a lot of methane there. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. When you and said. I, that there was literally no one else there at all. (laughs) I was uh, on such, I was on the fence so hard as to whether that was literally true or your perception as a person. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. Yeah, it would go either. It could go either way. A (laughs) hundred percent. That's so fucking funny. (laughs) Oh boy. Well, that was literally. There's no one here. Excuse me, dearie. I just need to get it. Literally, no one else here. Literally, (laughs) not another entity. (laughs) Uh, There's like five other people back here. Oh my god! (laughs) Like we're so by ourselves right now. (laughs) So that was Cody's words of wisdom. Thank you for that, and I hope that you didn't put any arrows in your eyes. And I hope that the sun didn't get ruined by the fertilizer. It's allergic. All right, we're going to move things on to the next segment, which belongs to me. Well, as we were pointing out earlier, we are missing one of our cohorts, a so-called John. Mm. And, um, well, I was kind of wondering where John might be. 
Could it be that he went down to Suncoast videos? Oh, yeah. That's right. John went to Suncoast videos uh, to get me my old shirt. Mm. You're telling me instead of recording the podcast, John went to Suncoast videos to get you your old shirt with a picture of a ninja puppy on it? Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's what it was. John went down to Suncoast Videos to get Jess her old shirt that has a picture of a puppy on it. Ninja puppy. Uh, fuck. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, f- intended to pay with cash. Yeah, so John went down to Suncoast to get me my old shirt that has the like cute little ninja puppy on it. He was going to pay with cash, but then he came across a blue sapphire. Our John, who went to Suncoast Videos to get your old shirt that has a picture of a ninja puppy on it, he was going to pay with cash, but he came across a blue sapphire that contained a thousand genies? Yeah. Yeah, where's John? John went down to Suncoast Videos to get Jess her old shirt back that had a picture of a ninja puppy on it. He intended to pay in cash, came across a blue sapphire that had a thousand something genies in it, and um, he thought, well, I'll pay with that instead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so John went down to Suncoast to get me my old shirt uh, that has a picture of an adorable little super duper cute ninja puppy on it. Um, and he was going to pay with cash, but then he came across this uh, blue sapphire that contained 1,000 genies in it. And he figured he could pay with that instead of the cash. Or he could reenact all 1,001 Arabian Nights. I mean, I wouldn't put it past our John to go to Suncoast Videos to get Jess her old shirt back had a uh, picture of a ninja puppy on it and he was going to pay with cash but he found a blue sapphire that contained a thousand genies and he was going to pay with that and instead acted out all a thousand and one Arabian nights and now he's Thor? Oh my god (laughs) John instead of recording the podcast with us as usual which he loves to do Loves. He went over to Suncoast Videos to pick up Jess's old shirt, the one that has the picture of a ninja puppy. So cute, so adorable. And he was gonna... He was gonna pay cash. But he found a blue sapphire. It had a thousand genies in it, so he was gonna pay with that instead. Or recount all a thousand and one Arabian nights. Another. And these these lightning storms have been really hammering my house lately. I was like, lightning, God. That's a lot. And you get, you really got to think about, like, what's that for? Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, he was going to recount out. all a thousand one Arabian Nights stories. But he's Thor. He became Thor by doing so. He becomes Thor. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we know where John's back. That's where John's. <laughs> He's Thor now. She's hey, guess Thor. what? It's John's Thor now. <laughs> it's because he's been working out a lot. Yeah, yeah. He's really Thor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my segment. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Ooh, 
I did. I had fun. Jess. Yeah. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> Take All me right. away. <laughs> Just, 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 Night one. <laughs> okay. So we are going to do the card foretells. The way that this game works is I have a deck of very pretty tarot cards. I will pull one of the tarot cards from this deck and get the uh, description, uh, give the description of what that card means while my fellow cohorts get to look at what the card looks like. And we'll go from there. I am using the Ephemerate deck by uh, True Black. It is their white deck, and it is a gorgeous sight to behold. Just absolutely beautiful. So, uh, interesting. We got the seven coin. Ooh, mushroom. That's neat. Mm -hmm. So this uh, represents the seven of pentacles. A cluster of white oyster mushroom glows amid seven coins, among the most biologically sustainable and efficiently growing plants. They symbolize a diligent and intelligent long-term view of investment and reward. Behind the cluster rises golden coins reminiscent of a warm sun. The quiet and tranquil atmosphere captures a moment of pause and reflection in one's efforts, investments, and the rewards that are starting to manifest. The Seven of Pentacles represents a time to evaluate the progress of our labor, acknowledging the blend of earthly toil and ethereal blessings. It reminds us to appreciate the milestones achieved and ponder the steps ahead with patience, intelligence, and diligence. Hmm. Diligent investment. Okay, okay, okay. Technically not plants, mushrooms. Really? Mm-hmm. I guess they're fungi. They're, fu they're fungi. They're fungi yeah. are not... Part of the kingdom plantae? Nope. Interesting. Shit. D-I-L. Hmm. What are they of? They're their own thing. They're not plants. They're not animals. They're not archaea. Archaea? Ar archaea? Archaea? Yeah. They're their own I, thing. I, I just, I've never heard that word in, in taxon, taxonomical terms, so I was curious yeah. as to what it meant. Are, is, are fungi their own kingdom? I mean, they must be then. Yep. Huh. T-I-L. Hey, thanks. Welcome to my kingdom. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. Pleasure to Please. be here. Can't partake in some kombucha. Oh, I uh, usually don't touch the stuff, but uh, I don't want to be rude. Well, okay. It's made from our finest sacrifices. Uh, okay. No, I'm happy to happy to enjoy some. Yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. got a lot of floaty bits. That's that's nice. That's it's a, nice. Yes, that's how you know it's fresh <laughs> and organic. Yes. <clears throat> Ooh, ah. Now, what what can the mushroom kingdom do for you, oh great wise fox man? Yeah, I was uh, hoping to sort of, I don't know, buff up on the on the wisdom a little bit. Uh, I really like to try to consider my future in a uh, calm, reasonable way. And, um, well, I just lately I've been feeling a little distracted, a little forgetful. And, uh, mm. and um, I don't remember what I was just saying. This kombucha is kind of making a tingly feeling. And... Uh, that was probably because Patrice is in that patch. She made everybody do a tingly feeling. I see. I did not realize that this kombucha contained Patrice. Well, she it, she was one of the the mushroom yeah, no. sacrifices. She was raised specifically that, for yeah. this. So. 
It all makes sense. Uh, saying it out loud. Yeah. yeah. It does. It, it, everything always makes more sense when it's said out loud. That's what I always say. When I see myself in my little mushroom mirror, I go, Pat, it's going to make more sense when you say it out loud. All the time. Uh, and it's little nuggets of wisdom like that that uh, keeps me coming back. Pat, um, yeah, what... Uh, what 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 can you do for me, Pat? I uh, I just uh, I really off I really I really dropped the ball a couple of times recently, and uh, I think you know people play it off as a the weird exception, but I'm starting to feel a loss of confidence. And everything that you grow and do around here is so you know natural and efficient. And it's made by our people, of our people. So, yeah, but not for your people. No, it's for exclusively not for us. We don't. That would be cannibalism. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be very strange. That would be. Weird. Your Highness, the next batch of sacrifices oh. is ready. They've been complaining oh. and screaming the entire time. Oh, about how much they want to be kombuchaed? Yes, Your Highness, you are always correct. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so thankful for all of my loyal subjects. <laughs> they're, so, they're so eager to serve the greater good. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, sure. Is that the Patrice Kombucha? Oh, very good. That's a fine vintage. That's what everybody says. Yes, it's a Patrice one. He's got the tinglies. I got the tinglies, all right. Got the got the tinglies. You got the tinglies from the Oh no. The Patrice Kombucha. The Patrice Kombucha shouldn't be giving the tinglies. Well, that's I a bad that, sign. But she but she a, gave everybody the She gave everybody the tinglies in real when she was right? alive. Remember yeah. what happened after she gave them the tinglies? Oh. Ooh, mm, <laughs> I do not. That's okay. You're just the Empress. Why do you need to remember things for? Why do you need to remember things for? It's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, you're a fox guy, right? I can't tell. If, are you a fox yeah. or a chinchilla? I can't tell from here. Oh, come on. This, uh, that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> I don't get out a lot. I'm a royal guard. What do you think I do on my vacations? No, my fur isn't even that soft. Come on. I, well, then I, didn't, even, the I didn't touch you without permission or consent. That would have been rude. Even for me. So. Um, you, your highness, empress, your graceness, we should, we should really hey. get him to one of the doctors, like, uh, post okay. uh. <laughs> Mushroom fungi. <laughs> Bring a stretcher big enough for our fox friend. We don't have one. Mm, true. We could lash two together. What are we going to use as rope? Mushroom. That's a good idea. It might still not be big enough. <laughs> what if we lash three of them? How? Like side by side and then by side? Or would we do one on the end? Or That's right. We didn't really consider the cube, the square cube law. I don't know how that works. Just a mushroom, man. <laughs> I'm also just a mushroom, man. <laughs> I what love all could, my loyal subjects. Let's drag so him. Smart. Let's drag, drag him. him. Let's drag, drag his ass. him. <laughs> Stupid Chichilla. <laughs> He's not even real. <laughs> that was pretty much the best. Stupid Chichilla. <laughs> oh my word uh, oh dear oh. Ooh, lolly. well that was silly it was <laughs> sometimes we do it on purpose delightfully silly oh my gosh I love it <sighs> boy well that's just about gonna do things for this episode we hope you enjoyed it try 
Drag him! <laughs> Drag him! <laughs> Drag him! <laughs> I'm broken now. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> if there was anything about this episode that you thought was particularly entertaining, please let us know about it by going to wastingallthetime.com slash vote. We will take all of those submissions, nominations, uh, recommendations, uh, whatever you want to call them. Bananafications. We'll take all the bananafications at the end of the year, throw them up, <laughs> for Blah. review and uh, from that list we will uh, 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 what's the word I'm trying to think of we will distill the top 10 scenes of the year if there's anything else that you want to tell us about email us timewastepod at gmail.com why not we don't have a hotline e- anymore that got taken away SEC was used. real mad. Super pissed. I abused it. I'm sorry. I saw it. You're not sorry. I'm not sorry. Just I'm call the sorry. hotline. Hey, how's it going? You know, I just just think. So until next time, I have been Dave. I've been Cody. I've been Jess. And we wasted all the time. Thanks. Hey ever so much. Mm. What? Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye, folks. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, an improv comedy podcast. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. If you really enjoyed the show, support us at patreon.com slash timewastepod or go to wastingallthetime.com. Did you know that they're saying that the Gen Z trend of mushrooms is the millennial equivalent to the pineapple? I understand every word you just said, but not in the order that you said them. (laughs) (laughs) So a design trend for whatever reason for the millennial generation was like the usage of uh, pineapples. Like in every everything, like everybody, I had a pineapple. I had mine because it was a call to um, the TV show Psych. That's why I had mine. But it was like okay. a big design trend. Oh. The big design trend for Gen Z people right now is mushrooms, like mushroom shaped things, like everywhere huh. in their house. Yeah. Uh, Whose was pizza? Not too long ago, there's pizza everything. Hmm. Mm. Don't know. Why can't I find? Hmm. Hmm. That sounds really. I mean, pizza's always kind of been like kind of a hmm. thing. Maybe that's Not everybody's. Always. Pizza belongs to us all. Mm-hmm. So say we all. Pizza, pizza. equality. So okay. pizza we all. I was going to say. <laughs> if there is anything from this episode that you thought was particularly. If there was anything about this episode that you thought.